veramente complimenti, sono emozionato ad essere qua con, con voi perché il cinema che fa Ken Loach e che avete fatto è una cosa più unica che rara, sapete parlare in maniera chiara, precisa di vita, politica, denuncia, quindi veramente tanti complimenti. In questo film ho notato eh, che è un film molto molto amaro, lo spazio per la risata e per il ridere che nel suo cinema c'è sempre stato, più o meno l'ironia c'è sempre stata qua, è praticamente sparita. Volevo sapere come mai questa scelta e anche questa diciamo così, moda del, nella vita ma anche nel cinema del politica, politicamente corretto per ogni cosa, per ogni narrazione. Grazie infinite. Ah, yeah, well, it's not very funny, are we, really? Is it? Yeah, well, I mean, I think every story is, you're kind of truthful to the, the premise and the, and the characters. Um, I mean, Angel Sheer, or, or, for example, or, or Looking for Eric, you know, there was, there was a big, big comic element, you know, and then... Um, But with this one, there, there were some kind of there were some kind of funnier scenes. But but what happened was, when you're dealing with a film like this, where there's two communities, mm. and you know both communities are, are not homogeneous. Mm. You know there's a big divide in the, the, the in the British community, the home community, and uh, and you can't lump every single Syrian into kind of one person. So there was lots of characters to deal with, and um, and to try and do a story like that is actually. It's, it's a tougher challenge, I think. You know, I, Daniel Blake, they just follow the one character the whole way through. Yes. Sorry, I miss you. It's one family, so there's a tightness and there's an energy to it. So to try and bring all these disparate characters together and have everything in it, mm -hmm. you know, is, 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 is a mighty challenge. And you've only got the, you know, the, the one, you know, the one hour, you know, 40, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and some things fall away with the wayside. You just try to keep on the story. But, um, but we still hope there, there's warmth and generosity there. You know, I, I didn't, I mean, you see bitterness and anger from, from the host community, but hopefully you understand why Charlie is like that, you know, why that family is like that. The people have been dumped on. The houses are bought in their streets online on a Monday, sold on a Friday. People don't even visit those seats. They have no control, no agency about who lives next door. So you can, hopefully you'll understand people's anger and fury there. But I hope, you know, with the other characters, there's some sense of generosity and warmth. At least that's what we're trying to achieve here. Yeah. I, I, I've forgotten the second part of the question. Uh, political <laughs> correctness. Political correctness. Um, well, the, the political correctness is, it's a, I don't know if it's, you have the same phrase um, in, in, in other countries, but of course the political correctness they talk about, you know, that you have to be fair to people of um, <coughs> whatever their gender, you have to be fair to people whatever their sexual orientation, And if you're too fair, then you're accused of being politically correct and you can't make the same old jokes that men make about women or women make about men or whatever. Of course, that's not the, the true political correctness. That they... No, no, don't touch him, don't hurt him. And did you see that beautiful spider? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. He's bitten spider. by a spider and all that. I bet you just seen that, he's just descended <laughs> there. Yeah. The free market equals freedom. That's the political. You can't challenge that. You know th that's the political correctness they insist on. Um, they insist on uh, you know in our country. Um, oh God, we've got to have a monarch because it preserves our essential nature, our essential national characteristic. Absolute rubbish. Of course, we don't need a monarch. It, but, but that's the political correctness in in Britain. Um, but it's mainly that. Um, that uh, we are only free if we are free to exploit. Freedom is not freedom from hunger, because we encourage hunger for the working class, because it keeps them in, 
in that place. Um, but uh, so freedom of hunger is, is not freedom. Freedom to exploit is the only freedom they recognize. And that's their political correctness. So that's the political correctness we have to challenge. <laughs>